Good day to you one and all, it is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Yeah, how come you ain't got no guitar this time? Well, I'm in the hotel prior to the first show of our arena tour, uh, the Darkness and Blackstone Cherry playing at Cardiff Arena to, uh, tonight, I guess, when this goes out. Um, and uh, the guitar that I was going to use is still on the truck. Sur le truc, so je suis sans guitare maintenant, c'est uh, un problème pour... I don't, well, I don't know why I'm talking in French, but uh, anyway, today I am going to discuss Ren's new... Uh, well, not it's not a new song, but Ren, there was an incredible response to the Ren video that I did. Um, so I'm going to have a look at a, another one of his songs from earlier last year. And the song's called Violet's Tale. It actually came out on the 28th of July, and I have no idea what to expect. Um... The problem I've got here is how do I do the, uh, how do I do the f theme tune? I'll tell you what, I'll do it a cappella. Justin Hawkins writes again. Again. How's my aim? So apparently Ren's from Brighton. I didn't realise that. Um, he was known originally by many as a busker on the very streets of Brighton. Isn't that lovely? Here are some comments from the video that we're about to look at. Lava Shark and Boy Girl says, this man is what happens when you time travel and combine Eminem, Beethoven and Shakespeare into a single human being. 5.6 thousand people gave that the thumbs up. Then Jason Day said, a jester he is not, a storyteller, a massively talented artist. My God, boy, you're something else. Stay independent, don't let anyone influence your creativity. 287 people gave it the thumbs up. Then Midoriya says, honestly, the guitar player alone sets him above most. Then the stories he creates are so vivid. Absolute wizard. 2.3 thousand people give that the thumbs up. Let's have a watch of this video and see what's going on. Hey guys, um, last time I covered a Red song, um, some of the sort of complaints that I saw in the comments were along the lines of, oh, you didn't play enough of the song, um, and I kept stopping it periodically to, to make remarks on the various bits that are happening. Now the reason why we do that is because if you show any more than a few seconds of a track at any one time, um, it sort of triggers these bots that go around looking for copyright infringement, and it can make it really difficult for us to actually edit the, the episode um, in such a format that, it, that it's, we're allowed to put it up there, really. Um, so what we're doing, uh, you know, on a, the other thing to say about this Ren song is that it's just a brilliant story. So interspersed between little clips of the video itself, which you really have to go and check out, um, they'll just be me sitting there silently staring at the screen thinking, oh my God, this is amazing. And there really isn't much else I can say about it because he's telling a, a brilliant story and the only the only way to react to it is to listen to the whole thing and then go, wow. Um, you know my feelings on Ren, I think he's an amazing artist and this is a really brilliant um, piece of work again. Um, so yeah, try and, <laughs> try and come to terms with the fact that I'll just be sitting there watching it. Um, and there isn't much else I can say about it. Um, yeah, enjoy. Cheers. Now that beeping sound can either be um, something like some of that medical equipment that, that you see in Casualty or Holby City when somebody's uh, laying prone on a bed and there's all wires connected to Or it could be a forklift truck reversing in a warehouse. What do you think it's going to be? I reckon hospital. It's a hospital, not a forklift truck in sight. He's a good guitar player, isn't he? Sounds like the sort of thing that um, Henry VIII might commission, you know. It's up there with green sleeves and it's, uh, it's, it's got that instant likability thing. And it can be played on a nylon string guitar as well, effectively. Yes, some right hand hammer tapping. <laughs> I always like those hammer patterns that uh, incorporate open strings. Just sounds more, what's the word? The arpeggios are, are wider, aren't they? So you sort of get a much richer sound. Do you know what I mean by that? Because I think if you're doing like, a, if you do some hammer stuff, like, for example, from the sixth... 
9th and 13th fret. Oh no, it's about the same distance actually. Yeah, sounds good now. I was thinking of the um, solo in uh, Van Halen's jump, as always. <laughs> got that wild-eyed bewildered vibe going on it's the thing about Ren I think he's sort of um his talents go beyond um music really I think he's like a, a really good sort of visual performer he'd probably be probably be a brilliant actor if he's not already set the scene we must rewind the hands of time for Violet's tale okay so who's Violet let's find out <laughs> So I think that rising uh, motif, the mnemonic device is using there, is uh, I think that's to suggest the rewinding, isn't it? It's the rewinding. That's the time. That's the rewinding time. Is, is time what is rewinding time to get to the beginning of Violet's Tale? I've just paused it on one minute fifty-one. Looking at that guitar, can you see that line? It sort of seems to be like a hairline that goes from that sort of bridge bit where the strings are attached and it goes round to the to the sound hole there. That's a really thin piece of plastic to protect the wood from uh, flamenco players. I think that's actually, as opposed to a classical guitar, I think that's a flamenco guitar, which usually have a slightly lower action, a bit faster, easier to play. They're a bit less full-bodied in the tone. It's, you know... It's just a subtle distinction between a classical guitar and a flamenco guitar. And that's it, I think. Violet was a silent girl, grew up with violent starts. Her mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard. She met a boy named Stevie and he was a little prick. He paint her black and blue and dark. On her bedroom door and he's irate He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late And he stands by her bedside, she shakes But her eyes stay shut You f***ing slut, I know you're up And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? Fist connects and disconnects a bone A quick deflect to misdirect the blow But nonetheless his punches met her throat Such a mess he's left her bruised and broke Fucking hell, Ren Why? Not one word, she stays quiet So, the, the, the rising motif is now a descending motif Going back to current Current day, current current time, Violet. This is so fucking bleak. It's amazing. Uh, I don't know what I was expecting, but I, I mean, it's, there's a temptation to think, well, that the the um, the previous Ren track that I covered is kind of like, a, how can uh, you'd you'd have to think, oh, that's that's just like a an amazing moment in somebody's oeuvre, and then you look at this one, it's, it's also fucking brilliant. Oh my god. Lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. The doctor in a state of shock saw something here so very wrong. See, Violet, she was pregnant. Poor Violet, she was nine months gone. Violet broke her silence and she cried. If I'm to die right here tonight, please let my baby stay alive. The Doctor soon regained composure, called the surgeon to come in As Violet's world turned to black, the curtains closed, the lights went dim The lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive A tragedy or a miracle Twins Lying side by side A girl named Jenny And a boy named Screech Fucking hell <laughs> Oh my god
God. Oh my God, it's so powerful. Okay, so as you'd probably expect, it's another mind-blowing Ren moment that nearly makes me want to cry. It's so fucking brilliant and uh, deserves all of the success that he's attaining, earning. God, what a brilliant artist. Okay, well, check out um, Violet's Tale. It's unbelievable. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Justin Hawkins writes again. Listen to the rain. My manager's in the uh, room next door. He's probably a bit sick of me doing this stuff at, late at night. But uh, yeah, check out Ren. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Watch one of these two videos. That was mind-blowing. There's not much I can say about it, really. It's just f***ing brilliant. Ren's amazing. All right. Cheers, guys. See you later.